Good morning and welcome to morning office on this Thursday morning the 23rd of September as part of the Newcastle Cathedral online and recorded ministry and as we gather we're mindful of the Indigenous folk who have lived on the land wherever we are watching this for time beyond time and who have cared for it and we pray that our stewardship aligns with theirs. As we gather this morning we're praying for a number of issues which are very much before us. We pray for all of those who may have been impacted by the earthquake in Melbourne yesterday. Um, <laughs> Praying extraordinarily for the resilience of Victorians and Melburnians in particular. We're continuing to pray for the political upheaval and whatever fallout might come from various associations over submarines. We're praying too for those who are desperately searching for safe places to be and live, praying for those in Haiti and in Afghanistan, those who are victims, slaves even to famine. We pray for those who are in wars much closer to home, those suffering from domestic violence. We pray safety for all of those who find themselves in difficult places and as we bring all those concerned, we bring all the prayers and particular concerns that are ours to our prayers. And as we gather, the psalm this morning is Psalm 54, and the gospel is from Matthew chapter 7. Thursday morning. This is the message we have heard from Christ, that God is light in whom there is no darkness at all. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Go up to a high mountain, herald of good tidings to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, herald of good tidings to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, Behold your God. See the Lord God coming with power, coming to rule with his mighty arm. He brings his reward for the people of God and recompense for those who are saved. God will feed his flock like a shepherd and gather the lambs in his arms. He will hold them to his breast and gently lead those that are with young. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> Psalm 54 Save me, O God, by the power of your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God, and listen to the words of my mouth. For the insolent have risen against me. The ruthless, who have not set God before them, seek my life. But surely God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life. Let evil recoil on those that would waylay me. O oh, destroy them in your faithfulness. Then I will offer you sacrifice with a willing heart. I will praise your name, O oh Lord, for it is good. For you will deliver me from every trouble. My eyes shall see the downfall of my enemies. Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us in your Son, Jesus Christ, 
grant that as he came to share our human nature, so we may be partakers in his divine glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue in the Gospel of Matthew, beginning at chapter 7, verse 24. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things the crowds were astounded at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. When Jesus had come down from the mountain great crowds followed him and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him saying Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose. Be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed, and Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed on his name, he has given power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of a man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us full of grace and truth. We had beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, and from his fullness have we all received, and grace upon grace. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Loving Father, whose Son Jesus Christ has taught us that what we do for the least of our brothers and sisters we do also for him. Give us the will to be the servant of others as he was the servant of all who gave up his life and died for us and yet lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We bring into our prayers and into our hearts 
all of those who are finding ongoing lockdowns and challenges to businesses and economy and to mental health we pray resilience we pray that we will take the initiative to reach out to folk to find out if they are okay we pray peace amongst those who would protest that their disagreement is registered with respect and safety we pray for those who have shifted from homeschooling to home holidays those who are finding themselves very stretched. We pray that we and all of us will remember with the psalmist that you are very present to us in all trouble. We pray for those who shelter and security are vulnerable we pray for those agencies who are seeking to offer support and a solid rock on which a good foundation might rest securely we pray particularly for the work of Samaritans for their work amongst those with variations and complexities of disability. We pray too for those who are in a position to, in a public sphere, make comment and help us all to respond to the challenges of the pandemic and of climate change, that we will all be educated, informed and willing to act that our world, which is the creation of God, might continue to be a witness to your love and your generosity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, Guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of peace equip us with everything good, so that we may do his will. And may he work in us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ to whom be glory for ever. Amen. <laughs>